hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to teach you how to create this visual that it's an eye that follows wherever you're pointing on your device either it's a tablet a phone android or ios even some midi controllers that have an x and y pad so stick around and if you want to see this video in spanish i have the video right here or in the description down below all right so the first thing we actually need to do to recreate this visual is to go to google or any browser you prefer and search for a uv map of an eye what's an uv eye it's a i mean a uv map it's a plane it's a 2d image like this one right here that wraps in, in a 3d um, mesh so it wraps around and creates this material so the effect it's a, it's a 2d image that wraps in a 3d mesh basically so I'm going to use this one that was like in the first row of the search uh, to a good resolution and it works. So now I'm going to grab it. I got it right here. I'm going to put it here in resolute. So now that we got it, we're going to place the stingy sphere effect. This one right here. And now we got this beautiful, beautiful I. I'm going to increase the size of the sphere. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to take out the extrusion. So now we got our 3D eye inside of Resolute. Now, as you notice, I can control here the rotation. We don't have the full 3D sphere because the image that we used was square. And uh, my composition is uh, 1920 by 1080. So, uh, for example, if you want to use um, a, th a full circle, you know, like the whole sphere, you might want to to do a, a Photoshop of this image and increase it on the on the width so it fulfills the whole the whole sphere. But I'm too lazy for that, and I, I don't, I don't really want to do it. And it's, it's not really necessary. I didn't do it for the one in the video. So um, here we're going to uh, place a timeline in the x and the y uh, values. And we, I noticed that the y value is the one that goes like that for the i, and the y and the x value is the one that makes it look up and down. So I'm going to place them at zero for now. And I'm going to see where, where's the limits. So I want it to look that way. That's most uh, right that I want it to look. So I'm going to limit it right there. And I want it to look that, that way left. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but you, you get the point. And I want it to look up. Sorry, I'm not placing it in the middle. I want it to look up as far as that. And I want it to look down as down as that. And now here is the, uh, that's a bit too down. You can see there. All right. So that's those are the limits it's not going to move any further than that so okay and actually I'm gonna limit it a bit more like like so so you don't have to see that in the end. okay so now we enter the up side of this story so there are two, uh, this thing I'm using right now to control the eye and you see it already works it's a touch osc which is a paid app you can get it in the ios and the android uh, store app store or whatever um it's around five dollars i believe and it's a pretty good investment because it gets gets you midi over internet it gets you uh, osc i'm actually using midi over internet for this because you can't use an X and Y pad in Touch OSC in Resolume uh, via OSC only. You have to use MIDI. And it's 
pretty simple but for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna use uh, another app which is free and it's called OSC controller I'm gonna use it in my phone the one I'm using as a camera right now um, I'm, I'm gonna use that just because it's free and I want to keep this tutorial free and the advantage of that free app also is that you can uh, map X uh, the X value and the Y value separately and it's all via OSC so I'm gonna use the phone right now to show it and um, we'll see you later okay everyone so now this is the interface of OSC controller the free app I mentioned so now we got to go to the arena the tab preferences and go to OSC in the OSC tab you're going to see the uh, IP address of your computer which is this which is the server for the for all the apps maybe you're running a tablet a phone or multiple devices so it, this is your this is your uh, server for that and you you see this this ip it has to be exactly the same as the one here on the phone so i i i did that i did this exactly same same ip and when it says here in resolume incoming in, incoming port it's this one because OSC uh, controller is sending through this port to Resolume. So if now I click here start, you see this message OSC control start connection. And if I go to controls, you see all of this. But notice all the addresses start as OSC control, selected clip, etc. So to correct that, we have to go to the um, OSC path here and change it to composition. Okay, so now I'm going to end this and start it again. So now it says, instead of OSC control, it says composition. So now all of these start as composition. But this is really important because now you're going to see that all the shortcuts in Resolume for OSC start with that phrase, composition. So now we got two options here. Uh, Resolume gives you two different addresses that do the same but not exactly the same. So the first um, address that Resolume gives you for example, the one that we're going to need here is the rotate X uh, address. The first one goes like this. It goes composition layer two, because we, uh, um, we our clip is in the second layer, and clip number four, because it's the fourth column, video, because it's a video effect, a stingy sphere, this one, and the fade inside, um, Stingy sphere is rotate X and the one for the I, Y, sorry, is exactly the same, but it says Y at the end. So, what this means is that if I'm, if I for any reason composition of a show or whatever, I want, I move this clip over here because it fails, it, it goes like that in my show now. Um, this whole address changes from layer and clip. So if I if I got that map in my Toto SC interface, that won't work because it's not the same address. But the one be below that, it changes it to selected clip. So it doesn't matter if you have your um, your visual over here, over here, or or whatever. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same address. It's just the selected clip, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to use now, because that's that's what makes sense to me. And we're gonna clip this little box with a pencil here, there, and we're going to make it. We're going to place that that second address here. So I'm going to speed up this part because you don't need to see it.
Okay guys, so now I got this ready. Um, I put the both addresses from Resolum, you know, the the X and the Y axis addresses. But keep in mind something that I didn't mention before is that OSC doesn't take in, in consideration these limits right here, the ones that we put in the timeline. Uh, all, all that OSC does is send the signal from 0 to 1 in a rate from minus 180 and 180 in this case for the angles so what we have to do is only by i it's my calculate what these numbers will be in a scale from 0 to 1 for in this example um, i place the x value is 0 0.4 minimal and um, 0 0.6 on the max and in the y address I set the minimum from 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 max. So I click OK here. And now I rotate my my device and I got this going right now. That's the limit. Otherwise, if we leave it at 0 and 1 in the addresses right here as the maximum, uh, you will get the, the full spectrum of the rotation of the eye. Um, that's something that doesn't uh, work like that in Touch OSC, the paid uh, version of the app. So now I got um, these two apps running, Touch OSC in my tablet. And you can see here in MIDI, I'm just doing the same thing and I have no limitations. It just goes like that. And I have it mapped like so. MIDI, in my case, is channel 10 so I, I it doesn't mix with my with my actual MIDI, MIDI controller in channel 1 and I got an absolute and it goes the full range but this range says minus 17 and 29.49 so that's these limits right here that we place so I don't have to do any extra limitations in the in the actual app or anything like that. So that's the, an advantage from MIDI uh, from Touch OSC. Okay, guys. So that concludes our tutorial for today. I'm just gonna keep playing with this crazy visual. And um, you don't know, actually have to only use an eye. You can do other trippy things. I'm really, I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, and all that. Um, I'm gonna try to keep doing tutorials. Um, I'm releasing tutorials first in Spanish and then in English, but I always do like Monday and Thursday. Um, okay, so that's it. See you next time.